what's up guys how y'all doing Cosmic Harry here uh, doing a review of probably I don't know is it my most favorite tank in the game it, for me this is the most important tank in the game for me you know if I were to sum this tank up it's not most definitely you know it is not my most favorite uh, but uh, but it I, I'd say it's pretty much up there when it comes to importance I, I could not imagine uh, playing World of Tanks uh, without the T-34 ADA. You know, I could imagine playing uh, World of Tanks without the E-25 because of the fun factor, the Death Star because of the troll factor, the E-100 because of the bully factor. Uh, y you know what I mean? But, uh, but as far as importance is concerned amongst tanks, when it comes to crew training, you know, and uh, acquiring those skills and perks, the T-34, for me, is the most important tank in the game. And it is absolutely 100% a must-buy. Whatever this tank costs, and I, I, I say this a lot about, you know, I did E-25, whatever this tank costs, whatever you do, just get this tank. Get this tank. 100% do yourself a favor and just get this tank if you're if you're only at like 2,000 battles you, You're not gonna appreciate it. You know if you're at 5,000 to 10,000 you're gonna 100% most definitely appreciate it when you're grinding out um, a, a Tank line and you're on your way to that tier 10 and you come across Say for instance you're grinding up to the Wolfie and you come across the Borsig, you know Borsig is pr pretty decent tank and it's a lot of people want to keep it and uh, you want to get that sixth sense on that noob crew, uh, you know, f because you've kept the ball sig. Th your go-to tank is the T-34 88 because there, there is no other tank in the game that's going to get you uh, those skills and perks as quick as this tank. It is 100% a must tank to have, uh, as, uh, you know, as far as that is concerned. And kind of jumped into the deep end when it comes to the, the review of this tank. <laughs> you know, just woof, you know, attack, attack, attack. You, yeah, but yeah, it, it is so important because I've seen a lot of other reviews and, uh, uh, you know, the, the rare factor comes up, that the fact that it's rare, you're not going to really buy a tank because it's rare unless you're a tank collector, blah, blah, blah. Who, care? Who cares about that? Sought after, you know, wanted. It is, you know, on the forums. Everybody's always asking, when's the T-34 ADA? And uh, and they don't even have it, you know. And uh, but they're always asking, you know, when when is this tank coming out? And it's been a long time since it came out. And I think it it was supposed to come out. It I I think it was, it, you know, th there was a big delay with the release of this tank, the second release of this tank on the Xbox, due to the fact that you know it came out on the PlayStation. Possibly, maybe, you know, that pushed a bit, pushed the second release back even further. I haven't got a clue, you know, but. Uh, it was released yonks ago i think it was like two odd years ago or something and uh, you know and i bought it and um, and i've never looked back you know let's take a look uh how many games do i have in this thing or uh, there you go 221 58 percent win rate you know and my wna is fantastic in this tank i think it's in it like the in the top 10 top 20 most definitely easily you know and uh, it is a fantastic beautiful tank well first of all you know aesthetics what does it look like you know it looks beautiful yeah i mean it just looks the business i mean you look at the rust on it you know it, it just looks fantastic they really went to town with this tank it's a beautiful war machine so to speak you know and it really is and the, the the reasons why you know you should buy this tank you know it is a very good machine it is a fantastic machine you know keep in mind it's just a tier six uh, medium tank and it does not get preferential matchmaking yeah, so you do play up to tier eight and uh, what do you do then you load up premiums you know load up premium shells who cares and um but it is a beautiful machine, you know, it has the 88 mil, uh, the T-34-85 uh, is pretty much identical to this tank apart from uh, the gun. And uh, this one has the 88 mil, which I believe is the, you know, the 88 quick gun um, that you get on the on the Tiger. I'm not that familiar with the 
with the tiger but uh yeah the the, the, the rate of fire is updates i think it's the best if not one of the best uh when it comes to dpm damage per minute uh the 85 gets higher pen but ever so uh, uh but it gets much lower damage i believe it's 180 the, this gun gets 220 and that that just like makes all the difference uh at tier 6 you know 100% but like i said uh 132 is uh, it's just below average for a tier 6 medium it's just below average so it's workable it's definitely workable it's not the end of the world and uh, but you know premiums 171 yup de do so you know uh, aim time is 2.29 that's pretty much average accuracy is uh meh you know you're gonna miss a few shots but it's a quick firing gun you know right of fire almost uh, 10 rounds per minute so you you miss one shot you just load another you don't get that much many shells but having said that i don't think i've ever run out you can see you get 38 shells and um equipment to use it's kind of totally up to you but you can see i have because i i, I train a lot of noob crews on this thing i i usually go with toolbox uh gun rammer coded ops it's it's totally up to you what you want to roll out in but the reasons why this tank is fantastic is because of the bonus xp it gets which is 50 percent per game and uh, zero si silver bonus, zero silver bonus. So it's very, very unique. You know, the only other tank that kind of gets those kind of characteristics is the Amex Chaffee, uh, which also gets you know 50% bonus XP per battle and uh, zero, uh, but zero s uh, silver. And um, but there's plenty of other tanks out there, you know, that do actually. Um, uh, get more bonus XP, you know, the, the generally, you know, the, the lower you go, uh, the, the, the more bonus XP uh, you get, you know, and, um, you know, f I don't know if you look at, uh, let, let's take a look at here, the, um, at tier 6, the Fury gets 30%, the Schmal Term gets 30%, the Knight gets 30%, you know, but they all, they all get a, a little bit of boost in silver you know but there are you know the, the lower tier you go the the more xp you get you know so if you look if you look around tier 5 the sherman uh the ripper the ram 2 45 percent um boost at, um, in xp you look at tier 4 pardon me like uh, let's jump down to tier 3 there the premium tanks there are around 60 percent 65 for the mtls you you go all the way to tier two it's around 70 percent bonus xp you know and the the xp is needed uh when it comes to training crews you know that's why you've got the premium tanks you've got the the higher tier premium tanks are there to earn your silver you know because they get less bonus xp and the lower tiers are generally you know to train your crews um that being said it it, it takes around a hundred thousand uh, xp just below a hundred thousand xp to uh, to earn a skill or a perk and keep in mind your, your crew xp and tank xp and free xp you know these are all different types of xp but every time you roll out into a battle and you earn some tank xp i think it's like five or ten percent uh, goes towards um, your free xp and the remainder goes uh, you know is your tank xp earned whatever tank xp basically you earn per battle that's going to be equal to the crew xp that you earn but uh, but there's never like a you don't see like a number it's basically a percentage let's transfer a crew who shall we? I want to something. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. There we go. So when when you look at it like a crew, it it's it, it shows as a percentage. See, there's eighty three percent training left until the next skill. And um, and each block, each skill or perk, it's a hundred thousand basically tank XP that you need to earn. That is equal to you know the crew XP that you get, and um, 
and that's what it's all about in this tank you know it's all about training all about training your sixth sense I can't tell you how many crews I've noob crews I've trained uh, in order to get six sense I can't tell you how many um, tanks uh, that have been collecting dust in my garage have been kind of reactivated due to the fact uh, that I've trained up you know a noob crew in um, in the T-34 88 the, you know the Lux the Lux got six cents for the T-34 88 the RU-251 same thing you know I recently did this one um, let's take a look anymore 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 Tiger Tiger I recently repurchased the Tiger as well and uh, T-34 88 you know gifted uh, from that tank E-75 the e E-75 is uh, <laughs> I think I've had two, three different crews that have kind of passed through the E75. It's like my oldest heavy, and uh, I'm constantly, you know, and I, I know I shouldn't. I moved the crew to another t German tank, and etc., uh, etc. Et and the E75 gets left without a tank, uh, without a crew, and out comes the T3488. You know, and uh, so many, so many, so many Aramatal Borsig. There you go. You know so many you know and it, it it just but big deal you know you some people would say well what, what's the what's the big freaking deal and um, so what it gets 50% uh, bonus XP per battle so do a whole bunch of you know other tanks and uh, you know the Churchill at tier 5 I think it gets like 75% and you know that is pretty neat uh, bonus XP per battle but the fact of the matter is you know that this tank it just works it just works it's fantastic if you know how to play it it is so rewarding to play in as far as earning those skills and perks you know as far as just getting those skills and perks so much faster it is a joy to play in uh, first things first and it sits at the this just this perfect tier where the fact that it doesn't get preferential ma matchmaking is not a hindrance to the tank whatsoever. You know, it, it's just not. The tank works at tier 6, top tier, oh my god, yes, 100%. Tier 7 still works. You know, tier 8 still kind of works, you know, struggles a little bit with pen and all of that jazz. But um, I, I will come to you, I think like 90% of my games that I've played in this tank and keep in mind you you guys saw my win rate and I've mentioned uh, my W and uh, it's very very decent you know it's purple and all of that jazz in, in this tank but I'd say about 90 easily 95 percent of my games have been in this tank without any skills or perks you know equipment yes but without any sixth sense I'm so used to playing in this tank with these handicaps you know and it but the fact of the matter is it's not a problem it is 100 percent not a problem because it's such a decent machine i forgot to mention it only gets like six seven uh, degrees of gun depression i always forget to mention gun depression gun depression isn't that great in this tank so but the but yeah the tank is a beast it is ferocious it is beautiful you know it's nicely uh, well angled armor as you can see on the sides and on the front and all of that jazz and uh, you you will get bounces and let's take a look at that armor I forgot to mention yeah 90 mil at the front on the turret and uh, yeah you know it it just it just works you know if you know how to play it it's it is so rewarding 100% it is a beautiful machine and keep in mind it it's one of a kind as well because it you know it trains Russian and German crews you know there's, there's only one other tank that does that that's the Amex Chaffee and you you think I'll be raving about that tank because it has you know it's very similar I think it's at tier 6 as well but you know of course it's a light tank and it gets 50% bonus XP uh, but 0% extra silver you think I'll be raving about the Amex Chaffee but the Amex Chaffee is a light tank and it plays up to tier 10. Can you imagine playing in tier 10 without six cents? Uh, uh, you know, training six cents 
uh, in a light tag, you know. <laughs> no, I don't have as many games played in the AMX Champion as I do in the T34 or 88. No, no. But with this tag, you know, and I've released a video today, whole hours worth of gameplay, it's slightly older footage uh, of me in this tank where I, I just I don't have any skills or perks and I comfortably play you know it's it's just not a problem it's not an issue it, you know if if you're bottom tier you're bottom tier you shrug your shoulders you do your best and then that's that's all you can do but when you're top tier in this you're you yeah it's an OP top tier attack absolutely and uh, I'll, I'll leave a link for my uh, one morning, I, I played a whole morning in this tank, and I got two Radleys within the space of uh, you know one hour. So, and uh, I, 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 I mean, this isn't kind of relevant, but it is. You know, it recently Wargaming gave out these, um, you know, the Time Six Crew XP boost ops. I can on a daily double in the T thirty four eighty eight with the Time Six. Uh, knock out 25% training you know in one single game and of course that's because it's times six 100% you know so but it's also down to the tank you know it's also down to the tank it's also down to the fact that it's a really good tank and it gets that 50% boost in XP you know so because there's there's plenty of other tanks where the, there's the potential of me earning 25% you know uh, training uh, uh, in the skill of perk uh, but you just can't do it you know because the tank is just not that great you know because uh, like for instance the let's take a look the snake bite recently I, I purchased the the snake bite you do do oh part of me oh stop it yeah, so recently I, I purchased the, uh, the snake pie, you know, and I'm trying to, um, I'm, I'm trying to train up, uh, train up all my skills and perks. I want to get that snapshot and smooth ride and all of that jazz. And I'm moving my tank, uh, my crew into all these other premiums. And, uh, you know, s some of these, you know, for instance, the, the sexton, I think it gets 60% bonus. You know they they get really great bonus XP and uh, but am I taking full advantage of you know am I getting huge results when it comes to the daily doubles in these tanks? No, I'm not because you know the tank isn't all that you know Matilda BP, Tog Leela, Sexton yeah yeah you know, yeah Excelsior is actually pretty decent. I really need to get back into that tank, but uh, but you understand what I'm saying because of the fact. It's an OP machine, and because of the fact it gets that fifty percent bonus, you know, it just it just works. It just works on so many levels, you know. It just it just it just works on so many levels. This tank, and it uh, I just could not do without it, one hundred percent. Yeah, it is. Uh, just do yourself a favor. You'll appreciate it. Uh, maybe not today. Maybe you will. Maybe you will, uh, won't. I haven't got a clue. But you just do yourself a favor and just just get this tank. You know, no matter what the price, and the the price I'm sure is pretty reasonable because it's just tier six. It's mostly what around five k something like that. I haven't got a clue. But uh, I mean, I would gladly pay, knowing what I know now, top dollar for this tank. You know, I would pay tier 8 premium price you know if it was 12,000 15,000 um, and gold I would gladly pay the money uh, for the T3488 knowing what I know now you know it is it is a, just a fantastic beautiful machine and um, it just works it works at the tier that it, it's at it works uh, even though it, it doesn't get a preferential matchmaking it just it, it just works on so many levels it is just a fantastic machine and i just could not imagine life without it we're gonna have one quick game i've already got a you know one hour vid uploaded 
so we're good to go there if you need any uh, see any extra gameplay uh, like I said you know it's it's up to you but my opinion you know I've already stated my opinion on this tank okay T-34-88 we're on six fruit line standard battle uh, the matchmaking is uh, pretty kind to us if I do recall and uh, how to play this tank it is 100% a medium tank so you don't want to be um, front line or any of that jazz you want to be second line you want to be supporting your heavies your TDs you're looking for those uh, specific situations where you can kind of take advantage and you know get shots on the enemy without you being lit up in this game again you know I don't have uh, six cents I don't have any skills or perks and life for me in the T-34-88 is um, very different from a regular tank you know because usually in a regular tank I have some kind of skills or perks and I have you know 99% of my tanks I have six cents I I roll out in a tank and I have six cents I've just gotten used to life in this tank without having six cents, without having anything. Of course, I, I do have, uh, you know, equipment. I think in this game it's uh, the, the RAM and coded optics. Uh, and I think I have repairs. I believe I have repairs. Usually if I don't have any kind of skills or perks in a tank, I do go for repairs. So I'm positioning myself here. I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not looking to snipe or anything like that. I'm waiting for my team to push up if you look on the on the map you can see my team is kind of pushing up and they're going to they're gonna be spotting for me I get detected so I, straight away I duck into cover don't want to take any chances 100% who knows what's what's back there and all of that jazz keep in mind you know this is mid tier so people will sit out in the open in their nas horn and you know get annihilated like like a, like a fool what can I say it is what it is. You know, it's a T-34-88. It's not a tier 10 tank. It's a tier 6 tank. But, uh, and you can see what I'm doing. I'm, if I had skills or perks, I must be able to play this tank somewhat differently. And uh, possibly, maybe, you know, I'm not playing this tank to the best of my abilities or to, to the best of the abilities of the tank. I would say, go and have a look at um, my my video where I got the two Radleys in this tank that you know I had skills and perks on the tank then so I'm very cautious I'm very careful when I you know I don't have any skills and perks knock off half the health of that M4 no problem I think I I there we go a second time high roll by it looks like I left him on like five hit points uh, zooming in on the Firefly, anybody else, and again, you know, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing, you know, what I mentioned earlier, which is, I'm just using my team to spot for me. You know, I'm not, I'm not spotting anything, basically. You know, I'm, I'm the. You can't, you can't really snipe with this gun. You sort of can, you sort of can't. Uh, you know, because it, it, because it's a fast repeating gun. If you, if you. Uh, if you miss a shot you can quickly take another shot you know to make up for that shot etc etc and uh, th this is kind of a this situation up here is kind of a perfect demonstration of uh, oh not just yet and the uh, kv85 you'd, you'd think kv85 oh my god you know, i'm gonna die but uh i just I, I managed to dispatch him quite easily you know no problem one more he was looked like he was kind of playing it smart there, hiding behind that M3 Lee. And uh, I get a bit unlucky with this shot on. I'm not sure where you know, but the, this is what I was talking about. This kind of perfect example of games at these tiers. I'm I'm faced with four tanks. You know, okay, they're front facing. You know that that Jagdpanzer four and the ATA, but um. Nobody was, you know, for the first five ten seconds, nobody was shooting at me. So, it's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Excelsior, very low alpha, so he's not that much of a threat. 
and uh, you know when I get into these kind of games because I'm doing very very decently you know I've got 10 pens uh, two kills all I'm thinking about is my crew <laughs> XP you know my overall XP all I'm get I'm doing I don't really care about the fact that I'm doing well all I'm thinking about is acquiring six cents or grinding out that next uh, skill or perk in this tank and I'm always when I do well in this tank that's all I'm thinking about oh I'm so much closer <laughs> you know because of this tank it's because of this tank and uh, I managed to finish off the XLs yeah that very decent game four kills 13 pens etc etc and he, yeah did that aim time that this version is a bit it's it's not the aim time the, the aim time is 2.29 that's pretty much standard average for a medium tank but the the the, the this version is a bit and uh, yeah a iffy and all that jazz and uh, you, you know you'd think just three reds left to be all over no it's just yeah picking up uh, kill number five there can we get a top gun absolutely like I said this will be the only game in the in the review I have another video coming out today which is one hour of gameplay in, in, in this tank and also I will leave a link up on screen and in the description of me getting two Radleys I think I got two Radleys in the space of one hour you know in this tank playing this tank I, I played this tank like a like a whole uh, morning or something etc etc you, and you never get bored of playing in this tank it's a beautiful machine it really is a wonderful machine but uh, like I said, it, it's different playing the tank when you have no skills or perks compared to when you have a really experienced crew. So do yourself a favor, just go and get this tank. Just go and buy this tank. It will just help you out big time. It is, uh, in no way, shape or form is it like a clutch tank where, you know, it has something that's really OP and... Um, uh, and it just uh, you know like the, the Panzer 54 etc etc you it's still a medium tank you know it is uh, armored just like a, uh, any other kind of tier 6 medium tank and uh, good to go take it easy guys adios muchachos buy this tank